Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on the companion necklace to go with the companion bracelet and the watch that it started with. So <laughs> here's everything. If you haven't seen the, you know, the, this whole set or, you know, coordinating pieces, I have a, I'm going to link it down below in the, in the description box, but also, I, and I'm also going to link a playlist that's just going to be watch band um, series. And that way it will have everything that's in that particular um, stitch and series. So this one is a little bit different. This one's coming up. It's just the same exact stitch. Just I put the beads on in a different pattern and everything comes out different. It came out really pretty and I got a request to make this bracelet so I'd be happy to. And I'll make it in the necklace as well. So I just wanted to show you the necklace real quick. Let me take it off the this little stand that I got. It is a collar necklace and this is what it looks like. It just here's here it is in green. This is just a sample at the moment, um, and it's you know I've just clasped it with this two strand box clasp. I think it, you could get a prettier clasp for that, but I'm kind of low on clasps. Anyway, so that's it. Um, I'm gonna clear everything off, get a materials list going, and we'll get started. Let's get a materials list going. So you'll need some four millimeter bicones, some four millimeter pearls. You can use fire polish here. Um, I like the combo this way, but we did the watch with the um, I did one of the watches in fire polish, so really see what you have. Um, so a four millimeter bicone, a four millimeter pearl, or combo of whatever you like, four millimeter. 110 seed bead. I'm using the True Two two millimeter for the bottom edge here. You can just put two seed beads, two 110 seed beads that will be about the same width um, for the bottom. So try that, see if you like it. Um, a clasp. I think a really pretty sparkly pave clasp would be pretty. I'm just using the um, the two strand box clasp because I'm low on clasps these days. Size 10 beading needle, eight pound fire line, little stop bead. Don't forget the coupon code for Ringberry's mat. Don't forget the no more oops bead tray. All materials, sizes, colors, places where I purchase beads, links, things I forgot, everything. You know the drills in the description box below the video. So always. Um, Click the down arrow to show more. Box will open up and a world of info down there. <laughs> so check it out. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. So I'm going to clear the decks and when it gets started. Let's start. So thread your needle with about five feet of thread. Put on a stopping and leave about a 16 inch tail. We're going to use that tail later. So I put on my needle and drop down to my stop bead two bicones and two pearls. I'm going to sew those into a circle and come around through all the beads. Like that. Let's keep going around. I'm going to reinforce this guy. So I move your piece around so it's easy to sew. I'm just passing the stop bead and I'll move my thumb in a second. I'm exiting this bicone right here. Okay, so now you're going to pick up a two millimeter, two bicones, and a pearl. Exiting here, so through this one, I'm going to pull, kind of pull in this direction a little. I'm going to skip that little two millimeter and just sew through this bicone right here. That's what it looks like. Let's see if I can pull on thing a bit more. Pick up a two millimeter. Pick up a bicone and two pearls. Exiting here. So for this one. Like that. Skip the two. So through the next bicone. You to pull. You always want to make sure you're pulling tight so there's no space between, you know, no uh, thread showing. Pick up a two millimeter, pick up two bicones, and a pearl. Exiting here. So through this one. Pull. Skip the two millimeter and sew through the bicone. So this is what you're going to do all the way down. You're just going to repeat it in pattern, 
okay? So, and when you end, so you, you know, this is all the way um, to the length of your necklace. So um, when you end, I want you to end the same way as we started. So with the two bicones here and two bicones here, okay? So, and don't worry about fit. We can adjust the fit at the end because we have this little extension on the end. You can put one extension on two. You can put as many as you want on. So um, very easy to fit the necklace. But just don't forget to end it this way because it looks prettiest that way. All right, so get your whole length done, of course, minus your clasp, and um, and maybe minus, you know, uh, if you want to put this kind of end on, you know, leave a little space for that as well. So as I said, very forgiving as far as fit. All right, so get that done and meet me back here and we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So I have my mini done, and if you notice, my ends are, are this in, in pattern, so we want it to look pretty all the way around. So I'm exiting this bicone. I'm going to sew through this one and up through this pearl. So I'm just turning around so I can go back this way. So I'm going to pick up a pearl and two bicones. Just a pearl and two bicones. Exiting here, so through the other side of the pearl you're exiting. I'll move my thumb in a second. what it looks like. Now you're going to pick up an 11-0 and you're going to sew through the next pearl, just straight through. So by putting that 11-0 on, we're, start, we're going to start to make it curve because it's half the width of the 2 millimeter or half the width of the two 11 11-0s that you put on, whichever one you did. So that's going to make it start to curve. All right, so now I'm going to pick up two bicones. I'm going to sew through this pearl. I'm going to skip that 11 out, just sew right behind it. So my needle, see how my needle's kind of behind it? And through the pearl on the diagonal right there. And when I pull, that's what happens. I'm going to pick up an 11 out, go straight up through the next pearl. Now I'm going to pick up a pearl and a bicone, exiting here, the top of this pearl. I'm going to sew through this bicone. I'm going to just skip that 11 0 because kind of go behind it or like on the side of it. See that? And sew through the pearl. And that's going to set me up to add another bead on. Pick up an 11 0. So through the next pearl. Pick up two bicones. So through this one, skip the 11 0. Just kind of go on the side of it or behind it. So through the pearl. There we go. So that's you're just going to repeat that sequence all the way down. And you will notice as you as you um, put on your units, it's going to start to curve a little bit, and it will curve even more as we go on. All right, so get that all the way done to the end, and meet me back here, and we'll continue. Back. So I'm putting on my last group, so just before I do that, if you notice, see I was just doing a slight curve as opposed to keeping it super straight for a bracelet, so when I do that, it's, so that's just exactly what you want. So here are my two, my last two bicones, I'm going to sew through this pearl, and this pearl. Like that. Now I'm going to sew through the bicone like that. And I'm going to sew, th I'm going to actually pick up an 11 0. I'm going to sew through this one. And then I'm going to pick up an 11 0 and sew through every, in between every bicone. And that's going to start really pulling it together. Like that. And I'll do a few and then I'll show you the um, how it's starting to curve. And then when we put the 11 O's on the outside, that's going to make it curve even more. So it's going to be perfect curve. Now just a note, if you are using a different seed bead, like a Toho or something that is bigger or smaller, you know, you just have to, like, 
check the curve. And if it's not curving enough for you, then use a smaller seed bead. You know, you can use a try a 15 -0. Um These are all Miyuki, so you know, the 11 O's are Miyuki, so this I know this works, but like a lot of you who use Toho, it might the Toho might be a little big, so you might want to switch to a Miyuki or, you know, see how, if you can adjust it some way. But you see how it, how it curves now? So that's curving necklace like a necklace. So you're just giving it a little pull. So get that, do that all the way to the end, and then meet me back here, and we'll okay. show you coming to the end. I'm just going to actually put a, an 11 0 here. And I think I'm going to go for a, see what I did on my, actually, no, I didn't. Okay, so an 11, so we put an 11-0 11 here, and then another 11-0 here, and then an 11-0 here, just like that. All right, so I'm, before I, you know, continue, I just want to show you the curve now. So now we have a really nice curve and it's going to curve perfectly for a necklace. All right, so just get to that point and then come on back. I have to add a thread, so I'm going to add a thread and then we'll continue. Okay, back. So I'm actually going to add the thread with you because we haven't done that in a long time. So I put on a length of thread, put on a stoppy, leave enough of a tail to sew in. And the way I add thread, so I want to come out of where my old thread was exiting and that was through this bicone right here. I've already sewn it in and clipped it off. So all I'm going to do is just go back a few beads. Let's say, I'll just go this way. I'm just going to go through here. Go back more beads if you want. You can go around a unit. So here, and I have a stop bead on. It's holding my thread. So I really don't have to worry about sewing it in at the moment if I don't want to. All right, so now, so I'm exiting the bicone. I'm just going to sew through this two millimeter all right, so I'm going to pick up four 11 O's. So this is different than the bracelet. Exiting here, I'm going to sew through this one. I'm going to pick up four 11 O's. Exiting this 11 O, I'm going to sew through this one. You got it. Four 11 O's. So through this one. So this is the same as the bracelet. I'm just using four 11 O's on for this count. Just fits better. I'm just going to zigzag all the way down. Like that. This one. This is like a great to do when you're just kind of relaxing because it's, you know, it's just repetitive, so you're not like all stressed out. It's really easy. Okay, just sewing through that one. So do that all the way down to the end and then meet me back here and we'll continue. Okay, I'm coming down to the last couple of groups. I thought we'd do it together. So four. Sewing through this one like that. I'm going to sew, I'm going to advance through this four millimeter Pick up one 11 0, sew through this one. So we're just placing those beads on there for later. Sew through this one. Turning my piece around, I'm just going to sew through. Oops. Through this one, the 11 0, the bicone, and the 11 0. going to pick up four of my 11 O's. I'm going to sew through that center 11 O right there. So I have, I'm starting to surround the beads. Don't worry about it. We'll get that. We'll get that at the end. Pick up four. Sew through this one. Pick up four 11 O's. You got it. So through that center 11 O. Okay. 
Come here you. Don't get your tail caught. Like that. So you see how that um, surrounds the the pearls? Pick up four. So through this one. And I'm giving a little pull as I go along. Pick up four. So easy, right? And really looks much more complicated than it is. I mean, I find that with, so I'm going through this one, pick up four, so through this one, with really all beading. It's if you break it down into manageable small steps, you really can do anything. Okay, just like that. So do you notice as I'm doing that, see that it's nice and it becomes a nice firm piece and it, the curve stays in there. So you're just going to keep doing that all the way down to the end and then meet me back here and we'll finish up. Okay, I've come down to the end of my mini piece and I just wanted to show you um, before we continue that, you know, you might be thinking, oh, that's not curving enough. It's, is it going to be okay? If I put it on the piece, the necklace I've already made, do you see how it's the perfect curve? It's just going to keep curving around and it's going to be perfect, so don't worry about it. All right, so here, exiting. So I put my last group of four on here and I'm coming out of this. I put I sew through the 11 out, then I pick up four. And sew through this one. And make sure that the beads stay in the front because they're going to want to go in the back. Get a pull like that. Pick up four. And then sew through this one. Let me turn my piece around just like that. So then sew through. This is the two millimeter on the bottom. And you want to make sure that this piece, this set goes in front as well. So I'm exiting the two millimeter. I want to come around and get up to the top again. So I'm just going to go through the back. So I'm going to sew through, I don't know, this. So I'm coming out of the two. I'm going to sew through the bicone, I don't know, two millimeter bicone. I'm just using the back, you know, as kind of a path to get through. I'm just doing on right angles. So here I'm coming out of the bicone. I'm going to sew through this pearl, up through this pearl, like that, through this bicone. See how I'm just going around my units? And then through, just through the bicone, and then the 11O bicone and 11O, if you can get them all at once. So I've just done this on the back just to turn my thread around. So when I turn it around to the front again, I'm exiting that 11-0. Okay? So get that done, and then meet me back here, and we'll put one end of the clasp on, and then after that, we'll do the other side. All right, see if you. Okay, so here I am. I'm exiting this 11-0. So I want to put this little extender piece, let's say, if you want to call it on. So you can just put one. You'll, you'll see you can just put one little extension on or you can put as many as you need. So right now I'm going to pick up a four millimeter an 11 a four millimeter bicone 11 and a four millimeter bicone. Exiting here I'm just going to sew through the other side through the 11 and the bicone. See how I, that's kind of an extender? So if that's all you need or all you want on there you can do that. Now I'm just going to turn it around and here I have this. This is where I added thread earlier so I'm just going to ignore that. Just going to sew around the beads again. Sew through this pearl. Just on right angles through this pearl. I'm going to sew through this bicone. Back through this bicone. So I'm not sewing through the 11 O's at that point, but now I am. So through this bicone and the 11 O, and you can do that again. I'm not going to do it again. I'm just going to sew through the bicone. So this is where I'm exiting. So when I turn it over on this side, see how I'm exiting that, um, that bicone right there? Now um, you go around again to reinforce it because that way it's going to be nice and strong. So then we're going to pick up an 11 O bicone, 11 O a bicone, an 11 a bicone. Is that what I did? And I think an 11 So I'm going to, I'm exiting here. I'm just going to sew through 
this one like that. It's going to add another extension on. See, so it just adds a right hand weave unit on. And then all I'm going to do is sew through these, all the beads again. Like that. Let me turn my piece a little bit through these three. So I'm sewing through all the beads I just put on. Back through here. Back up. 11 0. Let me just turn around here. 11 0 bicone. 11 0. Back through this bicone. So when I turn it over on the other side, see what's happening? It's just the same. Um, just move this over this way so it's the same sequence as I have on this one. So you can put as many units on as you like um, to fit. So maybe I'll just stop at, you know, this this one unit here and then one um, right angle weave unit. But you could, like I said, you can do as many as you like. So just get as many as you like done on this side and then come on back and we'll put the clasp on. Okay, we're back. So this is my sequence that I'm going to put on now with my clasp on. So I'm putting on, I put on 11 -0. I went through the first ring of my clasp. Get the cat hair out of the way. Then I put on three 11 0s and I went through the second ring of my clasp. Now if your rings aren't facing in this direction, then you can, I have a little stash of four millimeter jump rings that I add to clasps so that I can put them on the way I want to. So here, so we've gone with the one seed bead, through the first ring, three seed beads through the second ring, one seed bead through the bicone. Like that. All right, so now it's on. Now you definitely want to reinforce this. So through the seed bead, the ring, the bi the three seed beads, the ring. Through the seed bead. And we want to go pull, go through the bicone again. Okay, just like that. Now I'm going to make a turn and I'm going to go through these three. I'm just I'm going to firm up the end here. So 11 0, bicone 11 0, pick up an 11 0, sew through the 11 0 and the bicone right there. Now I'm going to go straight through the bicone. So I'm just making, well not straight through, I'm making a right angle. The 11 0, the bicone. So I'm turning around, going to the other side so I can put another seed bead in. Through this bicone, through this 11 0. Picking up an 11 0, sewing through the next 11 0. Bicone 11 0, like that. And did I do it at the end? I'm not sure. Um, yes. Okay, so then I'm going to pick up another 11 0. So, so we're putting 11 0 between these two 11 0s and the ring. Oops, I hope I didn't mess that up terribly. Okay, so, let me, so we've come around. We put an 11 0 here. We went through the 11 0, bicone 11 0. Now we're exiting here. I'm going to sew through this one and the ring. Through the three and the ring. Through this 11 0. Pick up an 11 0. Sew through all these guys again. So you can add an 11 0 right there. And that just gives it like a little bit of like rigidity. Makes it a little more rigid and a little a little more um, firm. So I feel like it can hold the weight of an It's not super weighty, but you know, you want a nice ending. All right, so that's this end. So get that done and then come on back and we'll just do the same thing for this end. Now I'll get you started on that. We're back. So let's get this side done. So I had to add a new thread here. I actually broke my thread. I don't know. I think it was a, there was a weak spot in my thread. So I believe we were coming out of this 11-0 um, right here. So I'm just going to pick up four. 
Okay, so through this one. And I'm going to push it in the front. So that's what that thread is. That's where I've added my thread on. Like that. And then I'm going to go, I want to go around again. I want to go around all my beads here to get up on the other side. So here I'm going through the bicone. 11 all bicone. Pearl. Just right angles. Just follow your right angles so you can get to this side. So here, just going around. And up through this one. I think that's going to put me in the right place. There we go. Like that. And I'm just going to sew through the two millimeter. Pick up four. Sew through this one. Make sure it goes in the front. Like that. Now I want to get back around so I can come out this way out of the 11 -0. So again, I've got to move my, my needle around until I get to the other side. So again, I'm so I'm coming around like that. And I'm just going to sew through the beads again. Let me just get my needle in. There we go. Like that. Again, I'm just using the beads to just get to the other side. Just, just making a right angle. Then I'm going to sew through this one. And here, let me move the bicone and then through this one. And that's going to put me in position to put more beads on. All right, so just get to that point and then we'll continue. Okay, so I'm going to put that little end on right there. So pick up a bicone, an 11-0, a bicone, 11-0, and a bicone. Exiting here, it's going to sew through this one. Just to place that piece on the end. I turn around again. I'm going to go through these beads. So, turned around, I went through the pearl, up through this pearl, through this bicone. There we go. I'm going to right angle through this, these two, so the bicone and the 11-0, and then through this guy. I'll move my finger so this is where I want you coming out. Again, I have my thread I added on there. So here, I'm exiting like that. You can go around and do that again if you want to tighten it. And then I'm going to pick up an 11-0, bicone, 11-0, bicone, 11-0, by cone and an 11 0. It's going to sew. Oops. Let's backtrack. Clearly forgot my by cone. Let me oops, pull this out and fix that. I'm going to do it right now with you. I'm going to re-thread. Here we go. Bicone and 11 oh. That's more like it. So around the other side of the paper. Exiting from up through the beads again, like that, and so on. So you're just going to continue doing that, okay? And and then you're going to put your your clasp on, just like you did the other end. It's exactly the same thing. So you don't need me to go through that again. So there you go. So that's what you're going to do. All right. That's how it looks. 
Here's our finished beauty. <laughs> Here's our little mini. Hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun. I think that the necklace is probably, well, it's all, I love it all. Um, I think it's just such a great little fun watch band, and I love how it just kind of changed, you know, evolved into a bracelet and then a necklace. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.